Yo, welcome back everyone. My name is Anthony Watillo, and if you're new here, I do shoe unboxings, reviews, how-to cops, and resale predictions. Subscribe to me and I got you guys with the freshest kicks. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the top five Jordan 1 mids right now to invest in in 2021. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Almost at 400 subscribers. Thank you guys so much, and let's get right into this video. The first shoe we have is the Jordan 1 mid band. A lot of people are, are talking about this shoe. It's one of the hottest mids on the market right now, following the trend of the Jordan 1 mid Chicago and White Heel. I think this shoe will go up just like those shoes. And those shoes really went up about six months. And in that six month, increased about $80 to $100, putting them right around $180 to $220, depending on their size. This shoe is harder to come around at your malls and local stores because everyone is trying to get a hold of them and demand is quite high for this shoe. But if you can find them at like a local retailer, I highly encourage you guys to pick up this pair and I'll hold it. The next Jordan 1 mid we have is the White Shadow. This is a awesome shoe featuring black, gray, white, and like light gray across the whole shoe. Super cool shoe, black bottoms. Retailing again at 115 and 90 for grade school. This shoe right now is going right around, I'd say for sizes 10 and under, about 190 and up. And for about 11 to about whatever biggest size. A little lower, they just did a restock on Nike and a few other sites. So prices right now for those bigger sizes are right around 140 to 150, making profit margins a little bit slimmer, but uh, still a good pickup. And if you hold for the long run, they are guaranteed to go back up. And I think this shoe will settle up right around 220. And this shoe is going to follow the smoke gray, you could say like the 1.0s or the poor man Dior's. A lot of people are saying that, but uh, those shoes right around 300 to 350. I don't think these will quite reach that, but uh, I see these maxing right around 250. Gray school right now is pretty hot, right around 250. Those will definitely go up since it is grade school. And uh, I think those will go up to right around 300, 320. And uh, if you guys can still pick this pair up, just like the band, do it and uh, hold it. Even right now, I just sold a pair today, a size 10, for 183 payout on GOAT, which is pretty good. The box was slightly damaged. Hopefully it can pass as dead stock, you could say. And I just took about $60, $60 in profit. And uh, I still have this pair and about four more. Sizes 12 and 13, those were from the restock, right around $150. I'm going to hold until they hit about 180, then sell them because they are a bigger size. It is a little harder to move bigger sizes. For mids, I would stay under size 10 or 11 because that's the most common size. And anything below, it's usually the price starts climbing and is higher. Size 7.5 is the best size for men's. But that size is pretty rare to come around. I have eight, several eights of mids. Um, the price difference between an eight and a seven and a half is a lot. The third shoe we have is the Jordan 1 Mid Hyper Royal or Game Royal, you could say. All three of these shoes, the White Shadows, the Band, and this shoe are quite similar. Just switched up like color blocking, all the same shoe. And uh, retail is the same. This shoe reminds me of the Game Royal Retro Highs. I know it's not the same, but uh, it kind of gives you the same look. If you don't want to pay the high price of a Game Royal, because I know dead stock right now is right around 400 and up. And this is a good alternative if you don't want to pay the high price and you still want to get the look from the same kind of shoe. If you guys are looking to invest into this mid, I would highly suggest investing into sizes nine and under a little bit on the smaller end typically does a little bit better and all grade school sizing in about six months of say june 2021 i see this shoe being right around 175 to 185 for men's and gs on to the fourth shoe this is a very awesome shoe we have the jordan one mid signal blue this is a grade school pair Retailing at $100, it's an extra $10 for men's and grade school because it is made out of patent leather, got that glossy look to it. This is a very clean sneaker and uh, men's is retail at 125 
and uh, I say all grade school invest into and then pretty much any size for men's probably like 12 and under I know this pair is still hitting shelves at retail stores so I would highly suggest tracking out your stores and seeing if they are sitting on the shelves and if they do pick them up as soon as possible some stores are one per person but if you're being nice or you know make your way in there a bit maybe you can get a few more pairs and that'd be awesome and the final pair we have is the Jordan 1 Mid Turf Orange, similar to the Signal Blue, got that glossy patent leather. The retail is the same, $100 for GS and $125 for men's. I suggest buying all grade school and then men's. Men's are a little iffy right now, but I say under 10, the smaller the better. And um, this is kind of like the shattered backwards in a way, in the mid form. Right now, prices for grade school and men's is at $150, and I think in about six months, it'll be right around $200. So if you paid retail, make about 60 plus per shoe. It's just amazing return on investment. It's about 60, 50, 60, 70%. And that wraps up for today's video, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy videos like these. Lots of heat coming up this year. Bring you guys the freshest kicks and newest releases. I got shoe unboxings, reviews, how to cops, resale predictions, everything shoe content. Subscribe, and I got you guys almost at 400 subscribers. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later this week. Peace. Have a good one.